our program. ST Machinery Technology is a key member of global leading ST promoting group, focusing on the research and development of the extrusion promoting system for Asian markets. Its adiabatic extruder HES120 with no cooling fans has attracted significance in this area. Let's dive into ST Blue. Hello, Mr. Gang, nice to nice meet, to meet you. you. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. And firstly, I want to ask you what a break, uh, technological breakthroughs and applications of this extruder? Uh, this adiabatic extruder can be widely used for various uh, application fields. And uh, through its uh, unique design on the screw and the barrel, as well as the uh, insulation layer, it is uh, avoiding the dissipation of the heat to the outside. So the control of the temperature is so good that you have no excessive amount of heat generated from the extrusion. So this means that we will be able to consume at least 30% less energy compared to other standard extruders. At the same time, we are also, let's say, increasing the output with the special screw design so we can realize even higher output with a much lower, let's say, uh, uh, consumption. So with a double of a standard screw output, in the uh, average we are reaching more or less uh, 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 half of what the other competitors are consuming on the electricity. Yes, thank you. Hello, Mr. Andri. And I know the adiabatic is a very important performance of this extruder. Could you uh, elaborate this adiabatic technical breakthroughs of this extruder? Yes, thank you. Yeah, the introduction of the adiabatic extruder in the blow molding process uh, is a very game changer due to the fact that uh, with the capability of having a specialized uh, design of the screw and the internal part of the barrel, plus a very strong and efficient uh, insulation, we are able to control uh, the temperature in the best way. We can keep the melt temperatures as the lower as possible for the process of low molding. And of course, we can reach the capability to lower the uh, energy consumption, which is becoming a very important uh, argument for any converters in this world. So we really believe that uh, this kind of technology on stone machines it will help us uh, to be more competitive, to introduce uh, the highest quality on the process and the best cycle time and even uh, the overall equipment effectiveness of the process in long term. Yes, so great. And uh, finally, I want to ask if your op in your opinion, um, how do you foresee the promoting system in demand in the Asian market or the Chinese market? Uh, I think the blow molding uh, market is still in a very healthy growth stage and uh, with the, let's say, environment protection in mind, more and more PCR material will be processed. That is also one of the reasons why we have uh, invented or developed such a new technology which is providing a much better homogenization of the melt, which helps the customer to utilize a more percentage of the PCR material. I think that is the trend of the, the market growth, market development. Maybe you can add a few things, Andrea? Yeah, it, we are really discussing with the companies that are searching the solution to reduce dramatically the energy consumption. Yes. But on the other hand, they really want to also to increase the capability to have the process uh, that would come by a uh, performance in uh, output of the machinery. So uh, the expectation and the reality of testing those extruders brought us that as a similar sites, we can have even 20, 25% higher output. So it's giving also the capability to have a, an extrusion tool which is more efficient. Yes, thank you. And we're also looking forward to more advancement from ST machinery technology in the future. Thank you. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.